Tamara marks the International Day of Persons with Disabilities, so we decided to look right here at home in Israel to explore the reality of disabilities across Israeli society. I'd like to introduce you to Salsa Biel Takuri. She's a community social worker here in Israel at Beit Isi Shapiro, an organization for disabled people. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So first of all, I want to begin with your personal story. You work in the Arab town of Karansua and you grew up with a disabled parent. How did your own experience influence your career? Well, my um, personal story propelled me to um, choose my uh, career. Uh, as you have said, I'm a community social, wo social worker. I work at the Family Advancement Center at Betty Shapiro. Uh, my father is, is hearing impaired. <clears throat> I grew up um, speaking three languages, Arabic, Hebrew, and English. Wow. Only recently I studied, um, I learned a sign language. Um, um, I'll just answer the unasked question. We talked, uh, we used home sign at home, uh, which means this, the uh, gestures that we created, uh, developed at home to communicate with the, each other. I believe in um, uh, the potential of each person, the abilities of each person um, uh, that they can fulfill um, um, in the community. And that must have been extremely difficult for you, having a disabled parent. Were you having to take on some of those responsibility as a child? It wasn't um, difficult because my father urged people to uh, communicate straight with, uh, with him, directly with him. Yeah. Um, but still, I, I used to f f facilitate uh, many times for him, um, like at uh, school meetings when every par they invite parents to school meetings. And I used to uh, accompany my uh, father to facilitate for, for him. Him. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't difficult. It wasn't difficult at all. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the challenges specifically disabled people from the Arabic sector face. Um, first thing first, uh, the access to information. Uh, sadly, information uh, is available in Hebrew, only in Hebrew. So yeah. this prevents <coughs> families from um, accessing the rights to first to know about their rights and then to access their rights. Uh, that's why we have a consultation line at Beth Izzy Shapiro that receive annually uh, 1,500 uh, uh, calls from families from uh, the Arab uh, sector. <coughs> um, Second thing is uh, accessibility in general. Um, we uh, nowadays uh, Jewish people, as uh, Jewish uh, people with disabilities, they talk about uh, many kinds of, of, of accessibility, like uh, physical accessibility, uh, intellectual, intellectual accessibilities, uh, hearing impaired accessibility. But uh, in Arab community, we are still talking about the blue bar barking, the parking for the, the well, disabled people. Yeah. yeah. So, it's so in your opinion, how would you rank Israel in terms of being disability friendly? Um, it differs from Arab uh, sectors and, right. and Jewish sector. Yeah. I think that we we uh, there's more to achieve in that uh, domain. Um, uh, Special in raising awareness. We uh, this day is this f is so special for us for raising uh, awareness. Um, 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 providing an accessible environment for people with disabilities to, f to fulfill their uh, potential. Um, there's a way to go. There's a way. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the work that you do at Beit Shapil. Um, I just, I'll talk about um, uh, the projects that we are doing in celebration of, of, of International Day with, uh, for People with Disabilities. We are debuting um, an awareness campaign in the Arab uh, community um, about um, accessibility. This is the first time there's, uh, there, there were campaigns before, but all in Hebrew. This is the first time in Arabic. Um, we have um, a parents leadership group uh, that has written a white paper about the abuse of children children with disabilities, um, and they sent it to uh, Knesset members, um, uh, education departments, and other um, um, responsible um, uh, authorities. What does your organization need in terms of for it to be able to continue its work to help disabled people? That's a good question. Um, through raising awareness, we believe in um, in offering inclusive uh, communities. So uh, we need to work more on on uh, um, awareness uh, um, in the community. Um, people to um, to have collabor more collaboration with authorities and with other NGOs. Um, that's it. I think. Yeah. Amazing. And before I let you go, tell me a little bit why. 
Today is such an important day. Tomorrow, sorry, the International <laughs> Disabled Day. Yes. It's so important because it's focused uh, on um, uh, the values that we are um, 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 uh, working on at Bit Easy Shapiro, uh, like inclusive community. Um, it's not only about uh, providing services, it's, it's about uh, changing the attitudes of, of, of people. So this day allows us to d do these different projects and campaigns in order to, to raise awareness. Uh, yeah. And you mentioned those attitudes. I mean, quickly before you leave, just tell me a little bit of the attitudes that disabled people sometimes face, unfortunately. Um, Sometimes people are not knowledgeable about the difficulties that people with disabilities go through in daily life. Like um, I've talked about uh, um, blue parkings. Um, sometimes people park uh, um, at this parking when they shouldn't. Um, sometimes they um, park on the ramps. They don't um, um, understand what what are ramps for. Yeah. Um, also, um, like my father, my father is hearing impaired. So, some, many times that I, I see, I face people that speak to him um, um, during Corona. It's people speak with my father with a mask on, and they don't. don't Which makes it so much harder. Exactly.